You know, sometimes in life a man goes to a topless coffee shop. He looks around and says, you know what this place is missing? Aside for clothes, a little bit of gasoline and a whole lot of fire. And in those times, headlines that suck is there for you. Main man guilty of arson at topless coffee shop. Man claims he just wanted some hot toddies. Twilight, the musical, it's happening. Man stabbed due to not knowing of Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage. Now he's got 99 problems and a wound is one. Suburban Boca man accused of trying to bribe deputy with Dolphins tickets. What? Dude, at 6 and 10, I think you would have had better luck with SeaWorld tickets. PETA seeks memorials for cows killed on Illinois roads. I thought McDonald's already did that. Man sets himself on fire, dies after dispute over cereal? God, that is so sad. Am I really going to make fun of that? What ended in death began with life. This is why you don't play with fire, even if it's just for kicks. Someone should have smacked some sense into him, because now he's crisp. Ix. Now look, if you liked what you saw today or were just slightly amused, good news. You get to become part of the fun. And by that, I mean you can submit headlines that suck all week. Three ways of doing it. You submit your headlines to headlinesthatsuck.com. If you're too lazy to do that, just put the headline below. And you can put a punchline there too. And I will personally put it on headlinesatsuck.com because I love you and have no life. Or you could submit a video response where you announce the headline that sucks followed by a bitch and punchline. Kind of like what I do. Any option will suffice. And there's always the possibility that you'll see your submission right here next week. <laughs>